Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Vigilante. Vigilante is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that was developed by Irem in 1988. I remember playing this game for the Trevor Graphics 16 and was pretty excited to play it because I didn't have too many games for the system. The other side-scrolling beat-em-ups I had was Keith Courage, which came packaged with the Turbo Graphics, and China Warrior. So when Vigilante came around to my place, I was pretty excited to play it. Looking back in retrospect, the game was just so-so, but to me, it was a breath of fresh air to play something different. I always thought the game was purely a Turbo Graphics game until I later realized that Vigilante Vigilante was originally an arcade game. I played the arcade game and found that the port was actually pretty faithful to the original. There wasn't too much production notes about the game other than it's somewhat a spiritual sequel to the arcade classic Kung Fu Master because the gameplay was somewhat similar. In this game you play as a vigilante who has to save his girlfriend Madonna from a gang known as the Skinheads. Since the law is pretty much powerless to stop them, you have to take the law into your own hands and fight through five stages to rescue your girlfriend from the leader of the Skinheads, Giant Devil. As mentioned earlier, the game plays like Kung Fu Master, so the controls are similar in terms of attacking and shaking enemies off. At your disposal, you can pick up some nunchucks and proceed to bash oncoming enemies into a coma. There's a typical boss at the end of every stage, and every time a boss takes damage, their health slowly replenishes so the fight can drag out a bit. Now, I know there were slight changes made to the Sega Master System port, such as changing the name from Madonna to Maria, and changing the name from the Skinheads to the Rogues. However, according to this arcade block, the name of the game may originally have been called the Rogues. It's kind of hard to say because the English translation of the game description is pretty hard to understand, grammatically speaking. But like I said earlier, I couldn't find really any background info on the game other than the harsh reviews, so take this observation with a grain of salt. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb here and not totally bash the game because that would be too easy. I mean, if we're comparing it to Kung Fu Master directly and treating it as a sequel, then Vigilante is obviously the more superior game in every way. Is it better than the other side scrolling beat em ups of the time? Of course not. And that's the problem with the game. Like Ninja Gaiden in a prior episode, it just comes down to timing. The game just came out in a wrong time, but unfortunately, it couldn't come out any earlier because technically the game is just more advanced. Also, if it is a sequel to Kung Fu Master, then you cannot just create new gaming mechanics for the game because it would have been a different game altogether, especially with a different title. So I feel like Vigilante was somewhat caught in this weird middle ground that made the game so somewhat unpopular. Vigilante was ported over to the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, Atari ST, Amiga, the Amstrad CPC, Sega Master System, and the TurboGrafx-16. It was also released on the Wii U console. So if you never played this game and curious what the sequel to Kung Fu Master would have looked like, then play this game and let me know what you think.